welcome to my last holiday video. I hope you had an amazing Christmas. I wanted to talk about going to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party for the first time and the horror story that comes along with it. I also wanted to show some of the things that I got from the party, my overall thoughts on it, and how I got free tickets from Disney. The first thing I wanted to get out of the way is my thoughts on the party in comparison to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, which I went to last year or the year before? I think it was last year. But I really enjoyed the Christmas party a lot more, surprisingly. I'm a huge Halloween fan, but they really outdid themselves with the Christmas party. The castle was absolutely beautiful. The lights in Main Street were beautiful, and the overlays were so amazing and so fun, especially Space Mountain, which is my favorite ride at Magic Kingdom. Besides the overlays being super fun, the food and drinks they provided were so good, especially the hot chocolate. Me and my friend drank like four cups during the whole night. It was so delicious. I'll show some of the cookies that I got from the party in a little bit, but now I want to talk about the parade, which was probably my favorite part of the whole night. The parade was amazing. It was so unique and different than any parade I've seen, and going to the Christmas party for the first time, I wasn't expecting such a a beautiful parade, like I was really stunned by it. Another really unique thing was all of the princesses were out with their princes, and correct me if I'm wrong, but they don't do that in any other event that I'm aware of, so that was really neat to see. Now I'll show some of the things that I got from the party, and the very first thing is the pamphlet that shows the map and the holiday treats and merchandise, basically everything during the party. And yes, it's kind of worn because of the rain that got onto it, but I'll get into that later. Next thing I got was this Christmas Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom card that has Pluto and a Christmas tree and popcorn. They give these out at the fire station, so... And you can only get one per person. Speaking of only getting one, they actually mark your band with an S for getting the card so you don't get more than one. They really are strict about that, so yeah, that's a little memory on my band. Now I'll show some of the cookies that I saved. The other ones that they give out, I gave to my family to eat, but I did save this one that came in a cute packaging. I have two of these. These two. I forgot where they gave these ones out, but I love the packaging. And they also gave these out. These really huge Minnie Mouse cookies. And she's wearing a Christmas hat. I haven't eaten any of these yet. And these ones are just chocolate chip cookies. The last thing that I picked up isn't Christmas themed, but they were selling it there. And it's this birthday Mickey Mouse that's all vintage looking and it comes with a birthday hat. It's a zipper and you can take off the hat I love the vintage look, which is why I got it, and it was a really good deal. It was $16, and it comes with soda with ice cream of your choice to make a float. Now I'll get into the horror story of the night. Disney themselves said it was one of the worst weather nights that they've had in a long time, and boy is it an interesting one to tell. So this is what I looked like in the beginning of the night, and this is what I looked like at the end of the night, or towards the end, it rained for hours and hours at the park, and it was heavy, heavy rain. Um, I got so soaked because in the beginning, I didn't even have time to put on my poncho or anything. It just downpoured out of nowhere. And at the beginning, when we were there at 3.30 for the gates to open and let us in, there were a lot of really dark clouds but we just figured they're passing, because it did look like they were passing by, so we didn't really think much of it. We were there on December 17th, by the way, and the crowd levels weren't bad at all the entire night. A lot of people did leave because of how much it was raining, but I think the longest we had to wait was like 25, maybe 30 minutes, which is nothing for me, because I'm one of the people that waited 11 hours for the Hagrid ride at Universal, so I could wait through anything. Here's a clip of me coming off of Space Mountain and being completely drenched still, so enjoy this. We got kinda wet. It rained.
Some parts of the Magic Kingdom did get a little flooded. My friend and I tried to avoid as many puddles as we could, but a few times we ended up stepping into like ankle deep rain puddles and our socks got completely soaked, our shoes got completely soaked, our shoes were like squishy and stuff for the rest of the night, so it was really interesting. There was a moment where a lot of people started to argue and my friend and I looked at each other and we're like, why don't we just make a run for it through the extremely hard rain and jump in line for Space Mountain or something because we'd rather be in a line than stuck in the chaos of people arguing because we ended up getting like jumbled up under the only cover that was nearby when it started to rain really really hard so some people were mad because they couldn't get through and some people just wanted to get a little dry and not be in the rain so that was a lot there was a bunch of people all together so we did end up just darting to Space Mountain and getting in line which we also got rained on in the queue like outside before getting in. When we left really late we hopped on the last monorail of the night and ended up going to I think it was Fort Wilderness to get to Disney Springs because that's where we were parked. It's free parking there so we thought we would try to take advantage of that and we ended up missing our bus like 10 minutes after it came so we were kind of stranded there until maybe 2.30 something in the 2 a.m. but we didn't know what to do so we went inside and we went to the front desk and we were like hey um looks like we missed our bus um do you know if there's anything we could do because our car is parked at Disney Springs and the guy at the desk was so nice he called us a taxi for free and that really saved us because I didn't know what we could have done but it was really really nice I appreciated that so much so we took a taxi and the taxi guy ended us ended up dropping us off at a part of Disney Springs that we weren't supposed to be at and by this time Disney Springs was closed so they had to have security come to us and take us to our car from where we were and it was a pretty long walk so I never expected that to happen it was really cool to see Disney Springs completely empty and to talk with a security guard that was her whole family like works at the Disney Resort so I enjoyed that we ended up officially leaving Disney World by like three o'clock and it's a two-hour drive from where um, we live so we got back home at like five in the morning we were pretty dead like it was a crazy night for us definitely so now i'll get into how we scored free tickets from disney when we got back at the house i was just scrolling through my phone and looking at different disney world articles that's on my google page or whatever and one of them said Disney's offering free tickets to those who went to the Christmas party on the 17th because of the rain being so bad. And I was like, no way. There's no way. And sure enough, the article said to call this number and um, there was even a sign at Magic Kingdom, I guess, that I didn't see. But it basically explained that you have two options. You could get um, an another event ticket for a different Christmas party or you can just get a ticket to any of the parks, which is the one that I got because my birthday is coming up and I want to go to Hollywood Studios. So that's what I did. I ended up calling them the next morning. The guy on the phone was really, really nice. He just walked me through how to get the ticket and I just had to open my Disney Parks app and he basically just transferred the ticket to my account. And he did the same for my friend on the same phone call with me. I just gave him my friend's information and he got the ticket onto his account. So that was really amazing. I got a free ticket for my birthday so I can go. I'm just so thankful that Disney is so nice because we really did have an amazing time at the Christmas party. It was a magical night. We loved everything besides the rain. It was really great for us. So it's really amazing that we got a free ticket out of it too. So big thank you to Disney for that and um, I did upload my Christmas party video of just like all the clips that I took from the night and I also have a video on visiting all of the resorts and Disney Springs for the tree trail so I'll leave those links in the description 
And that's about it. That's just a little story time that I wanted to tell you. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you had a really amazing holiday. And I'll see you really soon.